Hi guys, um, I had a request to do a video on the steps involved in uh, configuring ICE for MX-15 and also uh, the uh, one of our viewers needed to know how to set up the different uh, shortcuts. So here's what I'm going to do. MX-15 is a great distribution but with Debian distributions uh, in order to get ICE SSD, you do have to do a couple of things that you don't have to do in Arch and you don't have to do in Ubuntu. If you go to, I believe it is, the ICE SSD, and I think it's Launchpad. <coughs> this is it. Now, this is what you want, guys. Okay? You see where it says 501 all deb okay and I'm going to put a link to that uh, I'll put a link in the show notes to that but let's open that and you see this ice all deb save it okay now I saved it to my downloads folder. I'm going to minimize that. I'm going to close this out. Open file manager and I'm going to check my downloads. So there's the file that you need. Okay, so let's see. Yeah, so, so right click on it and then open with DW package installer. Okay, and we're going to install the package. Okay, now it says installation finished, and I'm going to close that out. Now, it should be in my internet, and there it is. Now, you see the ice? So, we've got ice, we've got Google Chrome, we've got Firefox. We should have everything we need in order to be able to set up our uh, shortcuts to our streaming. Now I'm going to open ICE. Well, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to open Google Chrome. And this is the first time I'm opening Google Chrome because this is a fresh install of MX-15. And <coughs> from what I'm being told, um, that this new version... 48.0.2564 uh, is enabled to play Hulu. So we're going to test that out. And we're going to test it with it says I have 10 new updates. <coughs> well, we will update. <coughs> I switched to AppKit upgrade. I don't really want to do AppKit disk upgrade because that can uh, be a little bit troublesome. So we're going to just do AppKit upgrade. <coughs> and this shouldn't take long. There's only a few, so it's done. All right, so let's open ICE. So first of all, we're going to try Netflix. We're going to call it Netflix. So we put our name in Netflix. Now we have to put the, the location, the uh, URL. <coughs> so it's going to be HTTP colon forward slash forward slash www.netflix.com. And it's going we want this is wherever you want to put it 
in your if you want it in sound and video you can put it there if you want it in internet you can put it there um, so let's put it in sound and video now next you have to select an icon now I happen to have all the icons that I need um, because I went and pulled them from the internet so this is my personal folder of all of the uh, things that I use in my installs and things it's on a it's on a flash drive I'm gonna copy this ice icons folder and I'm gonna put it into my pictures folder and that's where I'm gonna go looking for my shortcut so when I select an icon I'm gonna go to pictures ice icons and I've selected Netflix too. Okay, see that right there? Now all those icons that I have in that folder, I got off the internet. So if we open up Firefox and we do a search for Netflix icon, you can see all of the, if you click on Netflix icon, it'll bring up all of the various icons that are available for Netflix. Just pick the one that you want. Pick the one with the ping, PNG extension. There it is. So I'm gonna pull in that one, okay? So <clears throat> when you click on select icon, just go to where you've got your icon saved and pull in the icon that you want. Once you have that there and you have everything filled out, uh, click apply. But you're gonna, in this case, I don't have anything installed. It's not recognizing Firefox. So we're gonna just leave Chrome. Now, as I said in the past, Hulu has only worked on Firefox, but they're saying now that it works on Chrome. So I'm hoping that's the case. It'll make it a lot easier. So let's click apply. And once this goes back to the ice icon, you know that's saved. We're gonna do the next one. Let's do Amazon Prime. HTTP colon forward slash forward slash www.amazonprime.com Select an icon. I'm going to go to my ICE icons and select Amazon Prime right there. As you can see, it's populated and we're going to apply. And that's done. So I'm going to do the last one and that's going to be Hulu. So that's going to be HTTP colon forward slash forward slash Hulu dot com. Select an icon. Go to your icon location. There's Hulu. Open. Apply. Okay, now that I have the three that I want, and you can do this, if you look inside my You see all of the packages, and this is only the tip of the iceberg, but you can create basically a single uh, site browser for any, uh, pretty much any URL. So you've got all of your Microsoft options, YouTube, um, Facebook, Google+, Dropbox, um, Calendar got your Microsoft calendar, uh, Twitter. So you've got pretty much everything you can think of. And as I said, this is only the tip of the iceberg. You can pretty much create it for anything. All right, so let's close out and go to our sound and video. And multi
multimedia okay so it's called multimedia as you can see I have a few options that don't have any um, icons next to them Amazon Prime Hulu and Netflix so right click on Netflix and add to desktop right right click on Hulu add to desktop and right click on Amazon Prime add to desktop I'm going through this with you um, because this is how I usually do it uh, I, I leave the icons for my SSDs on the desktop you don't have to do this but I want to show you how to get the correct icon okay once they're on your desktop right click and go to properties now you're gonna click on the icon left click go back to the location of your and this was Netflix go back to the location of the icon that you wanted and you see it populated now I'm not crazy about that one so I'm gonna I'm gonna change it because I don't like that white border so let's go to <clears throat> my original Netflix and it changed it but then <clears throat> make sure that in permissions it's checked off allow this file to run as a program if it is you're, you're done do the same thing right click Hulu properties click on the icon right click I'm, I'm sorry left click go to your folder where your icons are this is Hulu okay double check it's checked off done right click properties left click go to your icons this is Amazon Prime make sure that it's checked off to run as a program okay now let's test it out first we're gonna try Netflix it's gonna open up in, in a window you can size the window any way you'd like okay so I'm gonna sign in um, with my account I'm gonna pause the video for a second we're back and I'm signed in let's see if Netflix works hey guys just a side note you see this Lizzie Borden was born in Fall River Massachusetts that's where I was born Lizzie Borden is a big thing in Fall River Massachusetts uh, so uh, you can see Netflix is working I'm going to close that out and we're going to check Amazon Prime again we're going to resize and I'm going to pause the video to sign in okay guys we're back I'm signed into my Amazon account I've clicked on watch and let's see click on the man in the pie castle so this is he really just wanted to talk okay so that worked now here's what happens from now on when you open Amazon it's a dedicated browser okay so now let's really put this Chrome to the test because what I'm hearing is that this new version of Chrome can handle Hulu so let's take a look okay so I'm gonna resize and I'm gonna pause again to sign in okay guys uh, I'm signed into my Hulu account and 
now I'm going to test it to see if it works. This is the one that usually gives me trouble. Okay. So it appears that that was the program. So Hulu does work. There it is. Absolutely wonderful. Okay, so, <clears throat> and this is before I uh, enabled any, I did not go through and enable any of the codecs. This is pretty much straight out of the box. So guys, uh, that is a, that's as simple as you can get. Now, I said, as I said, with Ubuntu, getting ice is a little bit easier, and so, so is Arch. But now with this new version of Chrome, uh, you don't have to use Firefox for any of them. You can use uh, Chrome, pull in Netflix, Hulu, and Amazon. So guys, that is it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, please rate, comment, and subscribe. Give it a thumbs up if you thought it uh, served a purpose. And I will see you next time. Take care.